Hi everyone, welcome back to the another video of Engineers Academy. So guys, in the previous videos of mine, you have learned about the venturi meter, orifice meter. Well, these are the like discharge measuring instruments that we have seen so far. And now over here in this particular video, we are going to learn about the velocity measuring instrument or its discharge measuring instrument that is basically used to calculate the speed of the flowing liquid or else it is specially applied it is used in the to calculation uh, to calculate the speed of the submarines and to calculate the speed of the aircrafts so basically that particular instrument is known as the pitot tube a simple glass tube which is bent at 90 degrees and this particular tube is used to calculate the speed or else the velocity of the flowing fluid so guys over here in this particular video we are going to learn about it, its construction its working and its a uh, like the formula how does it calculate the velocity so guys if you are new to my education channel over here engineers academy please do subscribe because your subscription will really motivates me to make more of such educational videos and please press the bell icon as well let's without wasting any time let's begin with our today's topic of the uh, pitot tube So guys, as I have stated earlier, this particular pitot tube, a simple glass tube, which is bent at the 90 degrees and both the ends are open of this particular pitot tube, like it is a hollow glass tube. So this particular pitot tube, when immersed in the flowing fluid, like the it is against the flow. So this particular, like the fluid will get entered into the pitot tube, like we can say that when the particular fluid get entered into pitot tube at that particular section we can call it as a section 1 and at the bend like at the 90 degree elbow we can call it at that particular point as point 2 or else section 2 now over here in this particular pitot tube like the flow will get inserted into that particular glass tube and the flow will get like the height in that particular height of the liquid in that particular pitot tube will increases it will rise basically so this particular height in is increased like we can say that over here like the kinetic energy of the flowing fluid gets converted into the pressure head so over here the height we are getting this particular height can be called as the dynamic pressure head or else we can call it as the velocity pressure head suppose on the other hand this particular like uh, at this particular flowing fluid a piezometer tube is attached this particular piezometer tube like the uh, liquid level rises in the piezometric tube as well but over here in case of the piezometer tube and in case of the pitot tube there will be the difference in the height this particular pitot tube is useful in the measurement of the velocity head or as the dynamic pressure head over here the piezometer only shows the pressure head it does not shows the velocity head so this particular these are the you know the difference you can see between this piezometer tube and the pitot tube so now moving ahead next to the sections of this particular pitot tube at section 1 we are having the higher velocity and at section 2 we are getting zero velocity at this particular section 2 like the velocity of the fluid gets converted into this, uh, this particular velocity head or else we can call it as a dynamic pressure head. So if we apply the Bernoulli's principle Bernoulli's theorem between these two particular sections if we apply the formulas like uh, the P1 divided by W plus v1 square divided by 2g plus z1 so over here the p1 v1 and z1 we can call it as the respective entities like such as in the pressure at section 1 velocity at section 1 and the z1 that is nothing but the day, day term over here so but over here in this particular case scenario the z1 and z2 will be equals to the 0 at section 2 we are getting the p divided by w plus v, v2 square divided by 2g plus z2 so over here z1 and z2 is equals to 0 so that is the datum will be 0 over here at this particular two points so at point 1 we are getting the pressure head as you know this h this particular p1 divided by w is equals to h and at section 2 we are getting the pressure head as this h plus h so we are getting this particular pressure head that is equals to p2 divided by w is equals to h plus h so the formula can be written as h plus v1 square divided by 2g is equals to h plus h that is nothing but the pressure head over here we are not considering the velocity cause at point 2 the velocity will be equals to the 0 so that's why over here this particular whole of the criteria that is v2 square divided by 2g gets nullified like it will be 0 over here 
So we have got the equation h is equals to v1 square divided by 2g. And if we solve this particular equation, we have got this v1 is equals to v1 is equals to under root of 2gh. So over here we have calculated the velocity at point 1 that is the velocity of the flowing fluid that is equals to the under root of 2gh. So now this particular calculated velocity is nothing but the theoretical velocity. So to convert this particular theoretical velocity into actual velocity we need some sort of the coefficient over here. As we can say that this particular actual velocity will be always less than that of theoretical velocity. So over here the coefficient of the velocity is taken into consideration and the v the formula can be modified as v1 is equals to cv into under root of 2gh that is cv stands for the coefficient of velocity so guys this is nothing but the formula to calculate the velocity of the flowing fluid by using this pitot tube and this particular pitot tube is used in the measurement of the speed of the submarines like when these particular submarines move inside the underwater like the you know the speed of the submarine will be equals to the upstream flow of the fluid so this particular uh, pitot tube measures the upstream flow velocity of the upstream flow of the liquid so that will be the velocity of the submarines similarly we can measure the speed of the aircraft as well the upcoming or as the drag velocity drag of the air which is coming when the particular aircraft moves in certain direction so if we measure the velocity of the air force or as the drag we can say this is the same velocity of the moving aircraft so this particular pitot tube is useful in the measurement of the velocity basically so guys over here in this particular video we have learned about the pitot tube its construction its uh, like the formula and working so guys if you having any kind of doubts you can comment below and please do subscribe to my educational channel engineers academy thank you so much guys for watching this educational video